Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can tell, I'm not in Sydney anymore and if you watched my last vlog, you would know that I am currently in Melbourne with Billy Elliot. I'm here for uh, almost two months, um, which is super exciting and today I have a day off. My mum's in town and we're going to be going into the city, having a little bit of shop, getting some food and just having a really nice day out. So I wanted to film a get ready with me video. We touch on wash day, the products I'm using at the moment, skincare, makeup, and also my outfit, as well as styling and drying my hair. So stay tuned if you're interested in all those things. Um, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel. I also wanna say a massive thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love the brand and I've been using these products for over a month now and I wanted to give you an update as I showed you at the beginning of the month that I just had started using them. So this will be my update video. Make sure you stay tuned and let's hop straight into the video. So as a curly girl, it's really hard to find products that work for you. And because products are so expensive, you really want to make sure you are buying the right thing for your hair. That is why I'm so obsessed with Function of Beauty at the moment. The concept around their brand is amazing. If you've never heard of Function of Beauty, they do hair care that is personalized. All you have to do is start this super easy two minute hair quiz online to build your own hair profile. So I picked wavy hair, medium hair structure and a dry scalp. And then you can continue on to the next part of the quiz. So then you can pick up to five hair goals. So I picked deep condition, fixed split ends, hydrate, um, anti frizz and curl definition. You can even pick your own scent, which is really cool, and you can also pick how strong you want the scent. Then you can customize your own bottle with your nickname on it, which is so cool. So I just put Jamie Jo on mine, and then you can even pick a color. So I picked this beautiful blue. I also want to mention that all Function of Beauty products have no parabens, no sulfates, no GMOs or toxins and are 100% vegan and a cruelty free which is super important because I know a lot of you guys follow the curly girl method so they are curly girl approved. I've been using these products for a month. I've definitely seen all of these things happening, the anti-frizz, deep conditioning, fixing of split ends, all these things have definitely been checked off as I've been using it over the month. I've noticed how moisturized my hair is. It honestly feels so luscious and silky after I hop out of the shower. I wanted to just show you the packaging because I think it's beautiful. This is the packaging. It's even got my name customized on the packaging right here if you can see it which I just think is so cool. I just love all the little finishing details and touches of the product. You can tell I've been loving the conditioner. So I also picked this beautiful blue color. I really love it and the smell is amazing. I'm really excited because I'm actually able to give you guys a 20% off link. So if you click the link in my description box, you are going to be able to get 20% off your first order, which I think is amazing. So I uh, honestly love the function of beauty products. I use them today to wash my hair. These are obviously the results and my hair looks so bouncy, so hydrated and yeah, my curls are popping. Don't forget to click that link in this description box if you want 20% of these products. Cannot recommend them enough. So guys, I'm clearly out of the shower. That was such a beautiful wash. As you saw before, I'm really, really obsessed with these products from Function of Beauty. What I'm going to do is just chuck my hair up in a little bun whilst we do skincare. I've been using a few new products recently. I've got some amazing products from Maya. So first, I'm going to start off with a clearly corrective dark spot solution from Kiehl's. Um, this brand is really good. So I've been using that recently, just for the last about two days. A little bit under my eyes, just because clearly they're black. And then I've got a little bit of pigmentation kind of on the sides of my cheeks, like some little veins and dark spots. I'm not really sure if you can tell, but let's zoom and see. Right about there, if you can see. So I'm just gonna use that. So now we're currently really zoomed in for skincare, but I think it's probably good so you can see. Next, I'm gonna use this double serum from Clarins. It's a hydric plus liptic system. This has been beautiful. I've been using it for the last few days.
feels so luxurious and next i'm going to use this saturday skin um wide awake brightening eye serum i got this from the sephora showcase Okay, so now let's move on to makeup. I've got some really great new products that I've been loving at the moment. Um, even though I'm not going to do anything too crazy with my look today, as you guys know, I kind of do the same look all the time unless I'm going out. But maybe I'll spice it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm actually going to start with a new product from Becca. It is the Light Shifter Brightening Concealer. Um, basically, you like... I've got this really good little applicator and you're supposed to put it on under your concealer or on top on kind of the points of your face you want to illuminate so i'm going to put it under my eyes to really brighten them and i'm also going to double it across like my cheekbone and just high points of my face now i'm just going to dab this in with my finger It's so light reflecting um, that I think it sits really nicely under concealer for an extra dewy, dewy, glowy look, especially because I hate that crusty, dry look under my eyes. Now, it's no surprise I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Concealer. This is honestly my favorite. This is in the shade 235. That is such a good concealer combo. They honestly look amazing together. Now I'm going to add a tiny bit of foundation, not too much, but I'm going to use my Maybelline Matte Poreless, which I love. I've been using this for years. The foundation isn't something I wear often, but when I do, I mainly like to focus it on the outer points of my face because I've got concealer already in the center. And I just like buff it in with a nice big fluffy brush. This is from New by Nature. Next, I'm going to use the Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. I've used this in an, another video before, but I honestly really love it. Me and my sister both do. And I like to just put it in the hollows of my face. Well, there's no hollows, but we're going to try and create some. <laughs> I'm going to use the new Nude Sticks um, Magnetic Lip Plush Paints. I actually really like to use these as a blush. And then sometimes you can create monochromatic looks with them as well. But I'm just going to use it as blush today. Now, I'm a sucker for blush. If you don't like that much blush, don't use it. But I really love a lot of blah, 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 A lot of blush. Now, just to make sure I get a little longevity out of all this beautiful work we're doing on makeup. I'm going to use a powder. This is a Becca under eye brightening powder and I'm going to use it exactly where it says under the eye um, I don't like to do baking or anything crazy like that because otherwise my under eyes look really dry so basically first I like to make sure there's no creases next I will literally just go in with a really tiny bit of powder and pop it only right under my eye where it needs it to set um, the concealer work I'm going to use my hula now and set my cheekbones and I'm not going to add any blush or highlighter just yet. I'm going to do all the other makeup first and then get back to that. So let's move on to the eyes. I have a Fenty Beauty palette. And I think I want to use this pink iridescent shade on the lid. I'm also going to try something a little bit out of the ordinary. I'm going to use this liquid liner from Lush. It's in a little pot. It's a very thin liner brush. So guys, this is almost the finished look. I'm going to, well not finished look, finished makeup look. I really love it. This liner is so stunning. Like, I'm actually really obsessed with it. I'm going to use a Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop for my highlighter. Ooh. And for my lipstick, I'm going to use the matte lipstick called Meher. Meher? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so happy with this makeup. Now to move on to the styling process for my hair. Obviously, we gave it an amazing wash in the shower with some great products. And now I'm going to be using a very basic... My hair's still 
wet enough. Yes, I'm going to just be using my Denman brush and I'm going to style my hair. Now I've got heaps of videos where I style my hair, so I'm not going to go like too crazy with it. I'm going to go in with one product, only one to style today. That is one of my absolute favorites ever, and you guys know it is the Bond Repair Leave-In Treatment Mousse from Alterna. Okay guys, now I've completely scrunched and styled my hair. I'm just going to diffuse it and then I'll be back to put together an outfit and I'll show you what I pick and I'll also show my accessories and we'll finish off this whole get ready with me and this whole look. Love a fresh wash day. So curly. So bouncy and fresh. So guys, and now I'm going to pick an outfit and then I'm going to show you what um, the finished look is. So I know you guys probably saw me wear this top last week in a video, but I didn't actually leave the house and I'm going to show you what I styled it with. So I'm actually really happy with how my hair's turned out. It's so fresh. I'm going to show you the jewelry that I want to wear. First, I'm going to start with some earrings. I'm not going to wear anything too extravagant, but I'm really being... <laughs> crushing over these cute earrings from Swarovski as you guys know I love Swarovski but they're like little paper clips so cute and funky and the other side is just like a normal sleeper all right now I'm going to also wear a Swarovski little um, gold pendant necklace and then I'm just going to wear some rings I always wear my signet ring, some other little Swarovski rings. I think I'm also going to layer this necklace with this pendant from um, Amber Skeets. It's so pretty, but I, I don't know if it matches. Yeah, it definitely does. Why not? So this is the jewelry so far. And for the finishing touch, this beautiful watch. It's actually, I bought it for mum, but she's letting me wear it today. Beautiful. Now for my accessories, I'm going to be wearing this bag from Petta and Jane and then these little shoes from Betts. They match really well together. So everybody, that wraps up today's Get Ready With Me. I hope you really enjoyed it. We chatted about a wash day. We chatted about styling, skincare, makeup, and my outfit. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really did have fun filming it because I love showing you like all aspects of what I do to get ready sometimes. Obviously, I mean, every day, my everyday routine doesn't look like this, but we are going out and I want it to look really nice, get some photos and you know, all that type of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a massive thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah, let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. Stay tuned, I've got more videos coming, I've got vlogs, I've got all that stuff. And I also wanna say another big thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. I really do love the products. They've been working for my hair so well over the last month. As you can tell, it looks super moisturized. So yeah, make sure you grab your hands on the products and don't forget I've got 20% off link below. So follow that if you're interested in the products as well. All right guys, catch you soon. 